this could be the worst video I will ever make. But, anyways, this is a PPS 43C, and it is SBR'd. Go. Go. Um, so, reliability out of the box. This is one of the 9mm models from Pioneer Arms. Um, out of the box, I've had issues with extraction, rejection, and just general lack of quality, reliability. So right off the bat, I modified the um, stock to get that to SBR. That was not reliability related. Um, the 9 mil conversion makes it so you're... Uh, rounds are kind of sloppy in the magazine, um, so that is something I'm continually dealing with. But the main things I've come up with here are, this is going to be a pain to do one-handed. Um, I created an action block, or whatever you want to call it, a block of 3D printed material that fits in here um, to keep rounds from going back down in there because you have an opening as soon as your bolt goes back you have a, a clear space for rounds to go back i've had numerous rounds get stuck in the action back there which is not desirable um so i made this action block or whatever you want to call it that goes in there and prevents that i also modified the um ejector somewhat so i am going to stop this for two seconds and take all this shit out and then you will be able to see it. All right, so here we are. Um, this is the ejector. Um, I slightly modified it. They they uh, change it over the stock one. Um, the ejector itself is lengthened for the nine mil, but I had issues because either this is undersized or it's just too sloppy. So it's supposed to ride in that groove there and uh, catch the edge of the casing and kick it out but I had a lot of times where it would just move to one side or the other and completely override the casing and not do its job so to prevent that or to fix that somewhat um, I ended up just tweaking the rod this is fixed in place but the rod back here is not fixed in place and it's not going to focus so I ended up tacking that and just grinding down the welds but you could also find another way JB bulb whatever you want to hack it up and make that um, fixed in position so it can't rotate so all I did was tweak the rod and bent it slightly inwards and upwards and that keeps it pushed into that groove of the bolt face and it catches the round a uh, shitload more reliably than uh, then it comes from the factory so that that's like number one pretty much required to do that on my end um, before that it would just fail to eject or they would um, ride all the way back with the bolt and then get lodged in the bottom of the action which is where this comes in so this is just a little action block whatever you want to call it it's 3d printed um, I suppose you could make it out of uh, aluminum or whatever but for now this will do the trick I just have a little spring on there to uh, um, get rid of the slop and take out all the wobble so it's not wobbling around in the bottom of the gun because currently you're not gonna be able to see it but there's there's just a whole shitload of open space down there which is not a problem but it leaves a lot of room for debris or casings to go sit in there and then jingle around so all this does is prevent that and it goes right right from behind the magazine all the way back to the front of the hammer and uh, it just clips right in there so you just push it over the the rail in there and then clip it down um, this relief is for the spring that goes across there on the safety uh, but otherwise all that does is, is take up the extra space so those two things alone have helped a whole crap load as far as reliability goes and it has made this gun from pretty much something to look at into something that actually shoots and uh, cycles 9 mil reliably, which is exactly what I wanted. So um, I'll have the files uploaded on Thingiverse, uh, probably linked in the description. Other than that, you can modify your 
ejector yourself obviously that's pretty easy to do so nothing too serious but obviously there's some reliability issues from the factory um which kind of sucks so anyways thanks for watching bye Woo!